Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Paint Table. It's my weekly show where you see what I got done and what I'm working on and what is coming up. So, I finished my ITS Season 14 list for my Nomads uh, Corregidor Army and then proceeded to play a game with them and get more excited and buy another box of stuff and paint even more. I can't do it. I can't stop painting Infinity right now. I am on a kick. I'm really enjoying Season 14 and it's got me jazzed. Um, but I did unpack and start looking at my um, uh, new Ogres, the Blood Pelt Hunter for my Maw Tribes, for my Gut Busters. And uh, I need to actually get to painting my um, Gore Chosen of Drom for Warhammer Underworlds to try it as well. So let's take a look at what got done and what is coming up. So finishing off my 15 order Corregidor list, I needed a couple more remotes. Uh, so I got myself a, another box of the new Sciocast remotes and painted up another Transductor, which is the seven point um, repeater remote, as well as a, oh geez, not Speculo, it's Spreklick. Oh, now I've lost it. Stempler, Stempler. It's a Stempler Zond. It's the new Ford Observer. Uh, sensor bot that gains tack awareness, uh, ECM hacking minus three, uh, and the um, uh, what you call it, marksmanship skill. And it already came with climbing plus, so it's a real good button pusher person grabber, as I discovered. And then I wanted to paint up my ITS uh, specific models, so I painted up this mad scientist nomad as my secure tat with his deployable pack gun. Um, a Yan Yan as my Corsair, my space pirate, which will double as a Bashi Bazook. And because this is a Yan Yan with a sword, you can kind of have it be anybody you want to have it be. And then when I was at the ITS 13 in Hamilton, they handed out free, um, as like your sign up gift, a free little 3D printed uh, sentry bot. So I'm going to paint those as well. I got my little sentry bot here for um, my turret, my gun turret. And I painted that up as like a generic sort of like any, any army I wanted, which I thought was cool. So only five models painted this week, but obviously. Um, I was traveling for all last weekend, so I didn't get any painting done then. Uh, and then we conveniently had our ECs and um, support staff for our school board here go on strike, so the kids were home uh, for the rest of this weekend. And then I'm off um, for uh, for a whole bunch of like new projects, hopefully kicking off next week as this will, I'll be freed up if I can get this done. <laughs> and this is the stuff I want to finish. I bought the Corregidor starter, I was holding off because it's older and the models are actually even like in kind of small scale. Like if you look at this intruder with a um, uh, a hacking profile, I'm gonna use him as, look at how little he is compared to the mad scientist. He's very small. But I needed wildcats. I'm, I'm proxying a tomcat engineer right now for my um, duo with my um, uh, big guy. The gator, and I wanted to have proper wildcat models. So I'll paint a couple of wildcats of combis, flamers to use as various different profiles, and I figured I guess I could paint the Aguaseal Hacker and have an Aguaseal Hacker as well. Not that I'll ever use it over Jazz, uh, as well as the Moran Maasai with Crazy Koalas. There is a new Moran coming in December, I think. And this will give me a second sculpt, because I'm AVA2. And I found my Nauf. I've been I've been waiting to do like a mercenary force for a while because I've been looking for my limited edition now from the Outrage comic. Uh, or, and and I, I, I couldn't find it forever and I just found it in a box. I was like, I really want to paint this guy. He's a great profile. He unlocks a bunch of different lists. Um, and I might do like a Starco army because of it. I really want to paint him. So I found him and if I get these eight miniatures done next week, then I will start. I promised myself I would start another project. Uh, and maybe it'll just be another Infinity Army, but maybe not, but I need to get this out of my system. I played two games of Infinity this week and it was great and I want to play more, but I want to paint more models and run different lists and so this is where I'm at. And I do want to try this new guy out. This is the Blood Pelt Hunter. He's on a 40 mil base, which is kind of weird for the hero models in the Ogres. They're almost all on 50s, which I thought was kind of odd. Um, and he's a little slight, but I'm excited to paint him. He's cool. He's got like uh, uh, a bit of a, a weird kind of aesthetic compared to the other in the army. I'm going to cover him in tattoos, though, which I think will help because all my ogres are like tattooed up. Uh, he's the Beast Slayer model. He is, I think, significantly better stat-wise. You can see in the review today over the Ice Pelt Hunter uh, or Ice Brow Hunter. I'm, I'm stoked to give him a try, but I'm probably going to convert him up a little bit. I might just straight up give him like a, uh, you know, one of those like um, death masks out of like some kind of banner piece or something like that. I might convert him up a little bit and make him a little bit different. But I'm excited to build and paint him. He's 
He's a very cool profile, and I want to be excited about the Model 2, so I'm going to do a little bit of a little bit of zhuzhing him up and see how he, how he goes when I'm done. These guys are exactly the same as you saw them last time, but I pulled them out here because it's going to make me pay. I'm going to shame myself until I actually get them finished. Uh, cause I wanna, Jay just finished painting the, um, the dead, the, what is it, the something dead, the Unquiet Dead or whatever warband, the new zombie warband to fight against my, uh, my witch hunters, and I wanted to have another bad guy warband to go with my good guy warband, so these are the next ones on the list. I love the miniatures, I wanna do like a horror movie bloody covered sort of like sacrificial theme for them, and if I keep putting them on here in this video, you guys will keep shaming me until I paint them, so that's the plan. I need to work up the courage to finish this, the Hecaton Land Fortress. Uh, I'm going to get my Iron Here Champions, uh, not the Iron Champions, the, um, the Terminators guys, the, the, whatchamacallit suits, the exosuits finished, and then I think I'm going to, once I get those done and the Thunderkin done, I'm going to do a vehicle. And it's probably going to be this thing, because this thing's pretty rad. I do love it just as like a cool sci-fi vehicle. Uh, and doing a big model for 40k every now and again kind of like is like a palate cleanser So I think once I get those troops done this guy's getting cracked open and I'm gonna start building him um, As like a centerpiece for my bow 10 army and there you go five models painted this week only two Specifically for my nomads, but the other three ITS extras let me play all the missions and have all the extra models painted too this is what happens. You guys always ask me what my favorite game is. Once I start playing Infinity, I don't, I just nothing else. I just want to play that forever and ever. And there's not very many people I get the chance to play it with anymore around here. It's just Jordan and uh, the fact that Owen was back in town this week, which was awesome. I got to play a game against him. And whenever Chase can, you know, sneak down here and play a game, uh, I don't get to play it that often anymore. So I get really jazzed when I do. Uh, I want to play some Age of Sigmar and some Underworlds too with this uh, new Ma Tribes book, obviously. It's one of my favorite armies. And I'm pumped to paint more of these little war bands for Underworlds and play some games. So there it is. That's what I got done. Uh, there won't be a um, live stream today, but next week we'll be back with another This Week in Wargaming. Obviously, I was traveling last weekend, and this weekend I'm going to be at a wedding. So I'm not going to be able to go on Saturday and sit in front of the camera and have my coffee, unfortunately. But it'll be back to normal next week. Uh, we'll see you then. Till then, I'm Ash. Up for you. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look through the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Game of Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.